Hello and welcome back to Beyond the Sprue. My name is Jim and this is where you get your regular model updates. They are currently every two weeks because of the summer season and things have scaled back a bit, if you excuse the pun, uh, but otherwise they're normally weekly. So next one will be in a fortnight and without any further delay, let's get to the question. During the Iranian embassy siege in 1980, which elite British unit successfully rescued hostages alongside the SAS? Was it A, the Royal Marines, B, Special Boat Service, C, the Royal Air Force Regiment, or D, the Gurkhas? Answer as always at the end. Ace models have announced that they're going to make in 1 and 7.2 scale a new Tiger M with a heavy MG module, Arbalay. Trump have announced plans to release in July a new Panzer III and that is going to be in a rather large 1 and 16 scale. The Border Models have announced in 1 and 3 5 scale a new German 88mm flat gun and this is mounted on a flat SSYS wagon. It comes with PE parts, the decals and a full metal barrel for the gun. I'm particularly liking the flatbed car and uh, the detail on the bogies and uh, the wagon itself and the track. I think it could make a really nice diorama. It looks rather good to me. Could be on my list. Mini Art are all set to produce a new three-wheeler delivery box trucks, the A400 Custom Wagon. And uh, it's coming with five deco options, so you can have a variety of schemes and some PE parts for extra detail. It does have good detail. Mini art do tend to have good detail. It doesn't mention any clear parts anywhere in the spills I've read. Uh, I'm assuming they've just missed it off. And Mini Art are producing an interior kit of the Shira Panzer Schirwagen 7.5 centimeter. It comes with PE parts, four decal options, and high level detail, you can have the hatches open or closed. If you haven't built Mini Art before, uh, there are a lot of parts. Mini Art all set to produce in 135 scale the German three ton cargo truck 36 36S, which is often referred to as the Mercedes Benz L3000 and played an essential part for Germany in the World War II deployed over multiple fronts. This kit comes with six different options and lots of PE parts and high levels of detail. The truck was powered by a 3.6 litre six cylinder petrol engine and was used extensively for transporting troops, equipment, ammunition and supplies throughout the war. So recently, Gecko Models announced the Universal Carrier Mark II in 1 and 16 scale, and they have released some images of the kit, and this is in 1 and 16 scale, and the detail looks absolutely incredible. Of course, with such a big scale, you can really go into the detail, and it looks great. The photo action now and just looks beautiful. That's work are releasing a new passenger rail car in 1 and 3 5 scale. Sadly, no, a lot about uh, wagons and how they're made, and this, I can assure you, is actually very accurate and has been uh, put together pretty faithfully. Uh, it's uh, high detail, accurate detail. Don't put that coupling hook on the hook like it's shown. There's a little hook behind it that they're supposed to sit on. Whoever made that model put that in the wrong place. But apart from that, it looks good. And back to Mini Art, who are producing in 1 and 35 scale an M3 Stewart early production model. This is coming in uh, several different schemes. The schemes are covering the Red Army, uh, Brazilian, Australian, American, Free French Forces, the Philippines. All in all, pretty comprehensive kit. And Cobb State models are releasing some new figures, British dispatch riders and their pigeons in 132 and 135 scales. Very highly detailed and personally recommend them. 
If you have an A4M Skyhawk 148 light attack aircraft from Magic Factory, good news is Magic Factory are making some pilots for that aircraft and they look very good. One pilot seated and one climbing the access steps. And Border Models have announced they are releasing a new Yamato and it's going to be in 1 and 350 scale. And this I feel will be of interest to people who perhaps haven't got the dexterity of others uh, because they're utilizing brand new 3D printing in conjunction with easy to make etched parts and various slider technologies for integrated plastic components. This approach significantly reduces the complexity and difficulty of crafting intricate ship models known for their fine details. The dense array of anti-aircraft guns and rangefinders on the Yamato are all produced using high precision 3D printing. For the Yamato's operational state equipment and details, we use the simplest etch parts and 3D printing components for restoration. This includes the superstructure on the bridge and the rangefinders at the rear. We have eliminated the finely detailed and more difficult to produce etch parts, opting instead for restoration through integrated 3D printing. It includes nine metal main gun barrels and a complete interior of the main gun. The entire hull is assembled using just two parts with all the side details utilizing slider mold technology. I'm sure it would be of interest to people perhaps with poor eyesight or haven't got the dexterity that others have. A Hoshima are releasing a 1 in 700 scale full hull model of the Japanese battleship the Mutsu 1942 and this comes with a metal barrel. And fans of the Waterline series will be pleased to see Hoshima are releasing a Fuyotsuki Japanese destroyer in 1 in 700 scale. They're also releasing a Yuji Japanese gunboat in 1 and 700 scale, also with the Waterline series. Also in 1 and 700 on the Waterline series, they are releasing a Waka Taka, Kuma Taka. And finally, they're also releasing a Hayabusa Yumitaka. And my apologies for butchering the Japanese language. And Welsh models are releasing in 1 and 144 scale an MT81R Fokker F27 short nose troop ship in the Royal Netherlands Air Force livery. In addition, they're also releasing a Fokker F27 100 short nose in the Air Lingus livery. And these are resin kits with metal propellers. And five models are re-releasing a 1995 tooling of the Nakajima Kika in 148 scale. And this is going to be having the markings of the 724th Air Group where it was planned to be deployed. And that is the test aircraft. And not exactly a new kit, but I thought I'd in Include it anyway. For those of you who bought the Airfix Bristol Bulldog uh, with the lovely engines in the 148 scale and the tooling, uh, SBS models are making two resin upgrades for the kit uh, one with rocker covers and one without rocker covers. Uh, each set includes nine engine cylinders and an exhaust drum, and the parts are 3D printed and uh, would enhance your model. Regular viewers to the channel will remember that Luke Graff are making a new Phoenix D1 and D2 and they've announced now that you can now pre-order these uh, for the end of June. And to tempt us all into pre-ordering, they have made some of the models and have took some photos of them and they're on your screen right now. Uh, you can see the PE parts and you can see the incredible detail that is on these kits. And the fine molds are releasing next month the F4EJ the Kai uh, White Tailed Eagle. This is going to be in 1 and 72 scale. And they have put together some photos so you can have a look at the completed model. And the kit 
will be coming with three markings. And IPG models are releasing a second 172 scale edition of the IAR 81C, and but this time it has the cannons and it has a they say great air battle 1944 decals. At the moment, we only have these. Uh, CAD or CAD drawings and uh, they say more details are coming soon though. So now it just remains for me to say thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and the answer to the question of who was the elite British unit that helped the SAS in 1980 in the Iranian embassy siege? Well the answer was B, Special Boat Service. Look after yourself, see you next time, bye bye.